So it's time to install packages again. Uh, I've got my hive set up. I've always already rubbed down my plastic uh, frames with a little extra wax, just using a block of wax. Rubbed down all of them. I got a gallon full of one-to-one -one sugar water, about uh, a tablespoon per quart of apple cider vinegar in it. I'm going to feed with a uh, with a pail feeder right on top of the frames. I got a third of a pollen patty, an elastic band. That's how I'm going to hold my queen on. Uh, extra hive body for a funnel, or sort of like a funnel. And I just got a nuke here just to hold some frames. So. <clears throat> Always want to spray uh, sugar water on everything. Keeps the bees interested. And that's what they like. When I first got here, I set my package down and I gave that just a quick spray with uh, sugar water. And that keeps the bees happy in there. Uh, so that's four frames sprayed, sprayed the inside of my box. Uh, my fifth frame, I'm going to take my elastic band. Get it ready for the queen. Uh, all this would be the same if you're using wax foundation, doesn't matter, except that you wouldn't rub your wax foundation down with extra wax. Uh, my entrance reducer is at its smallest opening. That's going to stay that way for a while. I got a space to dump my bees. I got everything sprayed. I'm gonna put my pollen patty on, about a third of a pollen patty. Put that over here. This is gonna be my frame, uh, my queen on it. So I'm ready to dump. So all I'm doing, I'm not bothering with these doors. They're a pain in the neck to open with a uh, with a hive tool. I just shake right out of the hole. It's just as easy. Just slide this can straight out because it's supposed to come out. Just be gentle and the bees will pretty much stay where they're at. I'll shake off my queen cage a little bit so I can get a look at her. She's climbing around in there. It's the Saskatrash. So uh, we don't want her out getting cold. So Put her in my pocket, set the feeder can, which doesn't have a lot in it, and uh, I'm going to shake. I'm going to use my funnel, my hive body for extra, just to keep them from going all over sideways and whatnot. That's it, I'm going to shake them in. Space is left. Most of them will fall in, some will fly around. New beekeepers, they should wear their uh, the veil until they get uh, more comfortable, but it's always good, especially with this many bees around in the yard. And they're mostly out. I'll put my uh, my uh, cage near the entrance. They'll wander in. Anybody that's left. Off goes the funnel. Uh, next, the queen comes back out. These queen cages only have a wooden cork in them. There's no sugar cork this year. They change stuff on us every year. We don't know what we're getting until we get it. Um, so we're leaving that sugar, that wooden cork in there right now uh, because we don't, we don't want her out yet. Uh, later in the week, we're going to take that, sugar, that wooden cork out, put a marshmallow in, stick her back in, and then, then they'll be able to get her out. But for now, leave the wooden cork in, attach it like this, make sure the screen doesn't go to the side. You want her, them to have access to her. So you want it either up or down, up is good. Uh, and that's gonna go right against that. Uh, then my other frames can go in. That's that. Put right on a piece space here. Please them together. Now I'm feeding this one with a pail feeder. If I was using a frame feeder, I would have left these two frames out and the frame feeder would have went in there and I would have filled it up with a, a gallon of uh, sugar water. Um, I'm using a pail feeder. We like putting it right on the, uh, 
on that. I got a couple little sticks just to give a little bit of B room there, B space. Flip my uh, pail over. That's gonna go right on there. Uh, and I have a high body, deep, or you can use a medium and a shim. Um, gonna go right over here. If you're using a hive top feeder, instead of doing that, you would put your hive top feeder right where this is and then fill that up with a with a gallon full of sugar water. So on goes the inner cover, uh, outer cover, the telescope and lid. I don't want this entrance open because we don't want robbers, they can't defend. So when we put the lid on, I'm going to slide it all the way back so that uh, the only access is through that small opening. And, and that's pretty much it. Um, Thursday, we'll come back in, we'll pull the sugar, uh, the wooden cork out, and we'll put a marshmallow in, put the queen right back where uh, she is, and they'll eat through that marshmallow real quick, free the queen, and uh, she'll get out laying, and then we'll check again, um, you know, Sunday or Monday to make sure she's, uh, we're seeing eggs. But I'll show a video about doing that too. So that's it, and the hive's in.